I'm home ed and I uh, have <laughs> no idea what to uh, Alfred is like any other 11-year-old child, apart from one thing. Alfred has never been to school. It's a weird concept to me, even going to school itself. You don't have to follow the national curriculum, so home education can be tailored to suit each individual child's interests and abilities. So, what is it like to be home educated? I asked Alfred and his siblings, Hope and Robin. Uh, probably the freedom to learn about what you're truly interested in uh, and I think it allows you to develop into somebody that is not fearful uh, about pursuing things that you're really passionate about. I suppose that for me the best thing about being home educated <laughs> is the fact that I guess it made me an independent thinker, <laughs> a little bit avant-garde compared to those around me I suppose. Um, I think that being homeschooled allows you in some ways to find yourself as a human being faster than you would do in school because you have a lot more time to think about yourself and what you're really feeling, what you really want to be doing. So I suppose, to sum it up, being homeschooled made me a better human. <laughs> well, oh, I think, well, you don't have to get up at seven o'clock every morning and go out and have to be tired for the rest of the day. And I feel like you're a bit more free of the time that you have to do stuff, uh, you know? Uh, it's quite hard to say because obviously I, I don't know what I'd be like if I'd gone to school, but I think personally I get uh, very anxious in test-like situations when I'm being interviewed. And I think that might uh, show more in me because from a young age, I wasn't doing tests at school like a lot of people are, which I don't necessarily think is, is like a bad thing. That I didn't experience that. But I think it it has meant that I'm, I'm probably less like adapted to the way society functions around interviews and tests. Um, so, yeah. Uh, well, probably see people less. And I feel like you don't really get to see your friends as much at all as normal? I suppose on the same line as being an independent thinker, when you are as independently minded as homeschooled children often become, it's quite hard to slot into systems and groups in some, in some contexts because uh, school kind of programs you to slot in, not just to like uh, systems like the education system, but things like friend groups and stuff like that. School teaches you a lot of the social behaviours that you need to slot into those groups comfortably and to not feel either out of place or, or yeah, like you're not being heard enough. Um, so I guess the worst thing about being homeschooled is that at the end of the day, you are just quite different to most people of your own age. There are lots of different reasons why people decide to home educate. And finally, I ask them the ultimate question. Would you home educate? Yeah, yeah, I will. Um, if I could, then I would. Um, but if I felt that I couldn't do a good enough job to make it worth it, then I probably wouldn't. Um, I would happily do it. And I think it's a great option, especially for kids that struggle in school or feel isolated in school um, because it's a way you can... Uh, I don't know, feel more at peace of who you are. If you're interested in home education, you can find more details on these websites. <laughs> what was the worst thing about being home educated? I'm professional, the interview. <laughs> <laughs>